What is up, geeks? So today I got something in the mail and I wanted to do a live unboxing for the Smuggler's Bounty. I believe this is the 40th anniversary box. So, um, so far, I think uh, this is a surprise unboxing and live, uh, surprise live feature that I have on my channel. So, Sorry that I didn't give you fair warning, but I just decided to, um, you know, once I saw this outside of my house, I had to do an unboxing. Um, hi to Goob for joining us. And it looks like I picked the right time because there's about six viewers right now just starting off this live stream. So that's a good sign. So if you guys have any questions, comments, anything, um, please post it uh, during this unboxing. And if I see it, then I'll try to answer it as best as I can. But I'm, I'm pretty excited for these things. Um, Goob appreciates the NMDs. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I got got them right here. As, as long as, I mean, um, as well as uh, collectibles, I also collect shoes. And, of course, you know, I wear them. I don't just collect them. Um, hello to Carter. Carter Steams for joining. Um, I collect a lot of stuff, you know. I got some MMA gear right here. As you know, I have an MMA channel. I have a uh, RN channel, which is which is also my vlog channel. So I also post my sneakers on there. I also have my Alpha Bounce right there. Um, I I, uh, I like to post a lot of things, guys. Um, Zaro, thank you for joining us. But this, this live unboxing, I'm pretty excited for the 40th anniversary. If you guys don't know, Star Wars has been around for 40 years now. And um, we have, looks like we have Princess Leia on the box here. Uh, I know what the pop final is going to be. Uh, they already released it um, a couple, I'd say a while ago. So uh, it's not much of a surprise, but I'm excited to see it. And that's the reason why this box is so huge. Look at the depth of this thing. It's huge. Um, so I'm excited to see what's inside. So are you guys, you got to let me know, are you guys ready to start the unboxing? If not, we can, you know, do some more comments and questions. Let me know. Where did you get the dope jacket? Um, actually, my, my um, I have to say, my grandparents got this for me, and my brother and my dad, and we all have matching BB-8, Force Awakens, uh, Star Wars hoodies. It's amazing because I picked up Chewie in this. And for those who don't know, from my last video, Chewie is my new puppy, the new the newest member to my household. And uh, we all picked him up wearing this, and it was so cool. Um, I'm loving Chewie. He's downstairs just chilling right now. Um, I will do a live stream eventually with him, and maybe you guys can just you know see him, you know, just being being a dog in live in uh, real time. Um, just everything he does is so cute and awesome so yeah he's my new best friend um, anyway guys are you guys are you guys ready are you guys ready I'm, I, I'm starting to get a little anxious now I gotta see what's inside this thing so I think I'm gonna start it off um, but let's see George Minigrode I'm ready I'm curious what type of goodies come with the box I'm concerning getting smugglers bounty love this um, Love this Smuggler's Bounty box that I've been subscribed to for more than a year now. Um, it started with The Force Awakens. That was the first box. And there were some times when I questioned having the subscription because it is $25 a month. Um, you can do the annual subscri subscription. And I think it comes with a, like a little gift with that. I, I tend to do the once a month thing because you can always opt out if you want. That's like a great thing that Funko does. But Funko has so many different boxes out there. I mean, there's so many boxes that are not even Funko um, but Funko does really great with their boxes and you know they have Marvel they have DC and uh, I, I'm just um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan so that's why I do the Star Wars thing if I had all the money in the world I'd probably do all of them but uh, you know obviously that's just that's a lot of money anyway without further ado I won't hold you guys up anymore um, so let's see oh I, I, I'm glad glad George that I pronounced your last name right because I was just kind of winging that but um so yeah we have Princess Leia in the front so let's see what we got so for those who watch these unboxing videos you already know what to expect the first two things you're gonna see is a patch and a pin all right so we have 40th 
anniversary patches and pins. So let's see what's was here. And uh, I let me try to zoom into these. Take them out of the package for you guys. So first off, speaking of Chewy, my new puppy. Hello, Krishna. Krishna Garg, thank you for joining. Speaking of Chewy, we have a Chewbacca pin. So that's pretty cool. And of course, I can't really focus because I'm on live right now. So that's the only drawback to doing live, guys. I kind of, the video quality is not as great as doing a regular video. So that's the one drawback to live, but the huge plus to live is being able to interact with you guys and you guys to see this live, you know, watching live is pretty fun in my opinion. So we have Chewy here, a Chewbacca pin. Uh, I wish I can focus in on that, but you know, you get the gist, it's Chewbacca. So uh, let's see what kind of patch we got here. I'm actually loving this patch. It looks super cool. Um, if I can get it open. We have Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing attire. That just looks so cool. I love that. I would totally rock this um, on one of my jackets. I'm starting to, I'm trying to think now where I'm going to put it. Uh, that pin reminds me of a chewy bobblehead I just got. Cool, George. Um, but yeah, this this patch is cool. So far, I like these two things. So that's a good sign already. We got uh, both things are thumbs up. You know, I love I like that. Now let's see what else we got here. Boom. Okay. So let's go with this little item first before we get to the the Funko. I mean, not the Funko. I mean, the, the Pop Vinyl. Uh, we have <laughs> salt, and sh uh, salt and Pepper Shakers. And you have Greedo and Han Solo, the duo here. The famous duo, which is, I mean, not really a duo. I mean, they're enemies, right? But they always seem to be coming together nowadays. You have the Black Series um, Toys R Us exclusive with Han and Greedo. And then you have this now with Han Solo and Greedo. But this is kind of cute. Um, I kind of wish they had Chewie and Han. That's more of a duo to me. But um, interesting they went with Han Solo and Greedo here. So they're kind of shaped like the pop finals. Um, you can see on the back probably better. A lot more clear than the window packaging. But yeah, so pretty interesting. Not sure if I'm going to use this to be honest. Could possibly be a giveaway, could possibly be something I sell on my eBay channel, I mean my eBay website. So uh, me and my dad, mostly my dad, he's kind of taking care of the whole eBay thing. Um, take a look at those those things. Uh, it should be on the bottom of this, it might not be on the, uh, the description of this video right now, but it will be once this live video gets um, uploaded onto YouTube. But please check out my other um, videos. In the description of my videos is my eBay store. You can also find it on the channel homepage. So um, I sell a lot of my stuff on eBay. Um, this might be one of those things. Again, this could end up being a giveaway too. So just stay tuned, guys. I'll let you know. Um, not crazy about it, but it's a, it's a cool addition, I guess. Pretty cool. E eBay link is up by the way. Thank you, George. So it is. It is um on the in the bottom of this video. Please check out the eBay link. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. We got a little item here, which is kind of interesting that they went with this idea. Kind of disappointed with this, but it looks like they're wristbands sweatbands whatever you want to call them now I'm not one to really wear these things they're kind of like tacky I mean these are kind of like in the 90s right guys early 2000s no one really wears these anymore even for basketball you never see basketball players even wearing these anymore so I'm kind of surprised this is probably the most um 
how should I say this in a nice way? This might be the lamest item that ever came up in a Smuggler's Bounty box. So for whoever was thinking about getting a box, this might not be the best box to, to help you decide because this is kind of lame right here. Definitely will not be keeping this, guys. Most likely be giving these away. I don't think this is going to be going up for much on eBay, but yeah, this is probably going to be a giveaway. Um, if you guys even want me to give this away, who even wants these, right? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I don't mean to hate on these. I'm sure there's people out there who love them, and I, I apologize if you guys would appreciate this, but I, this is why I do giveaways, because you guys might appreciate it more than I do. Um, but yeah, sorry if, if you got offended. Uh, I'm not really a fan of these things, so especially the fact that they're Star Wars ones. It's just... Either way, if you guys love them, then, you know, kudos to you. But uh, this is kind kind of lame for me. Anyway, the last thing that we got will redeem it. Uh, even though this box was a little bit... You know, the patch and the pin was probably the best thing so far. The salt and pepper, well, it was okay. The, the wristband, sweatband thing, definitely not a fan of that. But this might be the reason to get this box. This right here, the big pop vinyl. We got Luke. Luke Skywalker in his Bespin speeder. Not, not Bespin speeder, what am I saying? With his Tatooine speeder. So it just says here, Luke Skywalker with speeder. There's a bobblehead, as you know. Like I've said in many past videos, Marvel, Star Wars, they all have bobbleheads um, compared to DC. They're just regular pop finals. But uh, you can see better here in the back. You got the Luke with his Tatooine garb. And that looks pretty good. Here in the back you can see other pop finals that they offer. Yoda, the Dagobah version. Um, Andor Luke. Zuckus. You have Princess Leia in her Hoth attire. You have uh, Luke Skywalker in his hooded Tatooine garb. And then Gurindan, if I'm pronouncing that right, Gurindan, Empire Spy. He has the long snout, kind of looks like Squidward. But um, this thing is super cool. Really, really like it. I even like the backdrop, how they kind of make it look like Tatooine. The stand, if you guys can see it, if you guys can see the stand, it's sand. They got the sand, a block of sand with the clear, clear stand. Now, I, you can't really see it too well. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I'm very particular now with what I unbox, uh, especially when it comes to pop vinyls now. Um, especially this one it's in pristine condition. Uh, the box is perfect. Um, sometimes that doesn't always happen with Smuggler's Bounty. As you can see, this box was all beat up when I was opening it up. Um, so sometimes the in inside could get beat up. But this one is just pristine. Um, all the corners and everything look great. Even the window package, there's no bends in it. So this is a nice one to keep for myself or even something that I would auction off on eBay in the future. Um, maybe the near future, maybe the further future. But I, I most likely won't be unboxing this and reviewing it most likely now I won't say never but this thing is really cool um, like like I was supposed to unbox a while ago that um, Han Solo and Tauntaun combo yeah I didn't end up unboxing that obviously it wasn't on my channel I was just it was tempting but as a collector you guys can appreciate the fact that sometimes you can't you gotta fight your temptations and not unbox it um, you know, unboxing the whole set of Power Ranger stuff, some people were like, oh, how'd you do that? I mean, that goes for a lot on eBay. That can might, that might go for a lot one day. Those are the movie figures. And, um, you know, they're right. Maybe, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe not. Some people can afford to buy two sets of everything so they can unbox one and keep one in the box. But guys, uh, I'm going to tell you right now as a collector, I'm very tempted to, unbox this and see it in light you know in real life get it in my hands and touch it and I review it for you guys like I always do but this thing 
it's gonna stay in the box most likely I have to say um, but this thing is really cool just to see it in real life really really cool the details you can even see there with the engine popping out right here everything looks really great they have some nice wash to it um, to make it look beat up I like it a lot I really do so this is comparable to the Tauntaun and Han Solo combo this is really cool and um, for the 40th anniversary box overall I have to say it's a little bit a little bit disappointing a tad bit disappointing just because um, for one thing they don't come with that little uh, advertisement for the next box and also the fact that um, it doesn't tell you the breakdown of all the products like it usually does so that's a little bit of a disappointment but I'd have to say you know like with all these products you know this is really the only thing that that makes up for it if anything um, but there's not even like a 40th anniversary logo here which is a little bit disappointing as well but I don't wanna leave on a bad note this thing is really cool I will have to say that but um, the only thing here that I see that has the 40th anniversary or is there any 40th anniversary stuff I thought I saw one I thought this had the 40th anniversary on it but this doesn't even have it either so none of them really do oh here we go I lied the one thing that it does have is this this 40th anniversary patch which is cool so the patch and pin and the pop vinyl these were the great things that, that came from the box not as much the salt and pepper thing me I, I mean you guys at home might actually like this if you guys cook but I'm I don't like I mean it's okay it's okay it's cute it's okay if it was Han and Chewie it might be a different story but it's Han and Greedo it's all right and then of course I've hated on these enough I won't have to say it again but this is a little bit disappointing so anyway overall guys uh, I think the box was okay just because of this if it if this was a normal sized Luke figure then we'd ha be having a different story for sure but uh, thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being live with me and commenting and interacting with me I love doing these live videos you know even though we sacrifice camera quality even though we sacrifice you know being able to focus sometimes with when it comes to the picture um, I hope you guys enjoy that if you don't maybe I'll just upload better qu camera camera quality um, the only thing um, you're you won't be able to interact and you know watch it live and I think I mean for the majority now most people like to watch live but I could be wrong so just comment let me know in the comments below whether you're watching this live or you're watching this later once it gets uploaded on you onto YouTube um, but thank you guys for your support thank you guys for everything um, thank you Carter thank you George thank you everybody for interacting with me um, you know I'll it's about 20 minutes I'll, I'll give it another minute and a half just to talk to you guys he says where can we look to find out when future streams so like something like this was a bit of a impromptu like I didn't I didn't plan to do this one and I think that's fun because you know I just saw the package outside my door and I was like you know what I'll do a live stream today but the, there are times when I do plan it like what I did for the lightsaber one so you just gotta stay tuned to my channel I know a lot of people don't always get my subscriptions so make sure that when you see the subscribe uh, subscribe button there's a little bell there so you press the bell so that way you get get notifications um, on the daily on the weekly so that way you know when my next video is uploaded and I'll upload a video to let you know when my next live stream will be uh, unless it's gonna be a random live stream which happens sometimes and so sometimes you're just lucky but um, I'm trying my best trying to balance you know my new job um, my new puppy now which is pretty busy which gets me pretty busy but um, I will be showing you guys more videos of him maybe even a live stream with him um, Chewie is just an awesome dog I love him um, but I will be reviewing something really cool soon I'll be working on that uh, and of course 
any suggestions that you guys might have anything that you would get you guys would like to see as far as reviews i know lightsaber reviews are always in demand like goob just said right now before he even said it a new lightsaber question mark yes um i'm always constantly trying to work on that thing is like i've said on this channel now that we hit 20 minute mark it's okay i have to say i love lightsabers I really do, and I will continue to make lightsaber videos, make lightsaber training videos. I'm gonna, I'm more willing to do lightsaber training videos because that doesn't require me to buy a new lightsaber. Thing is, I can't just keep buying lightsabers forever. I do have lightsabers I haven't reviewed yet, so that's a good thing. The only problem is, like, once I review those ones, I'm one lightsaber away from not having another lightsaber to review unless I buy another one. So currently, I have over 25 lightsabers. And that is problematic because, one, I do not have enough room to have a lot more. Two, sorry, <laughs> let me count this like this. So one, yeah, I don't have enough room. Two, money. That's a lot of money to keep buying lightsabers. And three, there was a third one that I'm forgetting now. Um, and if I'm gonna and if I'm gonna have room for things. I don't want to just have all lightsabers, of course. Now, that's not going to be the case, but you know what I mean. You get my drift. So, Goop says, if you get a lot of views, you'll make the money back, maybe. Let me tell you something about Google AdSense and YouTube. As far as money, um, you, I don't... I really don't get that much back. Now, if you if you look at the start of my channel to now yes cumulatively i've made enough that most of it has been paid back as far as my lightsabers go if you're just talking about lightsabers you know that's i think i've made more than enough to compensate um as far as all my collectibles combined there's no way probably I, i've spent a lot more than gone back but um yeah i mean t technically that can work if i were to get a lot of views now, I did recently upload that Mace Windu, um, uh, what's it called, that that Ultra Saber's Mace Windu version, the Electrum Wind, um, and that has that's starting to get a lot more views, but it's going to take a while before it gets to that level, um, similar to like the Kylo Ren lightsaber that I reviewed that has a lot of views, or the uh, Emerald Manticore uh, lightsaber that has a lot of views so it takes a long time for one thing so it's not exactly a payback that's you know instantaneous it really does take some time and so yeah technically yes i can i get i can get that money back but it's it's gonna take a while so um and popularity wise i find that my views are not necessarily going down but they're just not increasing at the rate that it was before maybe because the force awakens was like a huge boost for me being that last jedi is coming out at the end of the year i'm gonna definitely be pushing out a lot more lightsaber reviews um more actually more star wars reviews in general of course by the end of the year um as i do normally i always do star wars reviews but yeah i hope that helps with your questions um you can keep going I'll, I'll go until 25 minutes now if you guys have any more questions while i'm here don't you have to make at least 100 dollars before getting the money true um let me answer that in a second do one lightsaber training video when it's dark i would it would be cool so i did yeah i used to do lightsaber videos in in uh at night as well i did do one recently in the day um but yeah i could do i could do ones at night too it's just a matter of what time i'll be available and free uh, as far as the one hundred dollar video uh one one hundred dollar thing um i have it set to two hundred dollars so either way you're still making the same amount of money it doesn't matter just it matters as far as google pushing out the money to you at a certain time so i just don't get the money as soon as i would if it was a hundred dollars but i'm still getting the same amount of money um if it was a hundred dollars i'd be probably getting more money at a steadily rate the only difference is that you know i don't know i i'd rather get the 200 dollars um some people if you're making that much money then maybe they'll have an a thousand dollar uh limit um but it all depends on you so it's almost 25 minutes guys please continue with your questions while i'm here and i can always extend it too 
but uh, I want to again thank you guys for watching um, I hope you guys like the videos that I've been putting out um, I'm, I'm really trying to do a lot more uh, I will give you guys a little hint the the newest video is gonna be something based off another video that I had but let me see I'm considering getting involved with YouTube what advice do you have uh, this is the only thing about the live I can't read it in time because that was a long message but what advice do I have for youtubers is what I'm guessing you were gonna ask um, do it for fun first do it for fun not that I'm not that I'm not doing it for fun anymore but do it for fun strictly without any desire to be successful um, and then once you gain success then you can think about what would be successful what would be what would not what would engage your audience what would not engage your audience and then that's when you start thinking differently so that's how that's where I'm at like I, I do it for fun but at the same time I'm thinking about what would be engaging so although in the past I would probably upload everything I don't do that nowadays because I know some people wouldn't want to watch certain videos like for example those pop vinyl reviews that I do usually um I have a lot of pop vinyls that I haven't reviewed and if I just if I just uploaded all of them I know a lot of them wouldn't get enough views so it'd be a lot of wasted time for my part and it would be waste of money as far as me unboxing those things when I can just leave them in the box because a lot of the times nowadays I don't really take things out of the box because I'm a collector at heart and although I'm a reviewer, I like to collect too and just to retain their value that way. But um, I think that does it for right now. I'll, I'll definitely upload another video uh, soon, guys. I'm going to do a review. What I was saying before, I'm going to do a review based off an unboxing that I did recently. And I guess through process of elimination, you can figure out what that is. But um, I don't want to spoil that for you guys. Um, but thank you for watching again, and until next time, embrace, express, and enjoy yourself. May the force be with you always, my young Padawan. This thing is so cool.